I'm going to show you how to create your classroom in Bottle and add your students. So I've already done this, so you're going to kind of miss a couple of things, but that's okay. It's really easy to do. First, you need to go to BottleLearning.com and then go up to the top right where it says Login as Parent Teacher. Click on that button. Yours will ask you to sign in with Google. It'll give you that option. Make sure you check the sign in with Google. So click the Google button because that will allow you to tie in all of your Google Classrooms and enroll your students that way. And then you'll be greeted with creating your first class. All you need to do is type in the class name. I'm going to call this demo. I want math and English. So math and ELA. You can just choose one if it's only a math course, but I'm going to throw them both in and then choose your grade level. I'm going to be in fourth grade today. And because we're in Michigan, we're going to choose Common Core, so we're all set with that. And then click Create Classroom. So I've successfully created my first classroom. I'm going to go down to Go to Classroom. And now I need to add students to my class. So over here on the left-hand side, I can see my classroom. Here's my navigation bar. I go down to students and if I click on that and I click, oh, I'm so sad I don't have any students yet. If I click on add students, I'm going to add some new students. And you could just type their names in here, but if you go down to import options and you import from Google, choose your name again, go ahead and continue. Give it a second, and then all of your Google Classrooms will pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and click my Demo Classroom, and I want to import all students. Now this classroom only has one student in it, but right here you would see all of your students listed. And then I click Next. It will give me a generated username and a password, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue. I can now, what's kind of cool, is customize any one of my students. So maybe I've got a student who I may be teaching fourth grade, but maybe they need to be challenged a little more. Maybe this test student needs to be at a fifth grade in math, but boy, they really struggle at reading. Maybe they need to do third grade work in reading. So you can alter this for differentiation if you need to. And once again, I only have one student listed, but you would have your whole class listed here. So just for ease, I'm going to put this back to fourth grade. I'm going to hit continue. And then I can click download student cards. Now these are the cards that I would print for each student. They'll get one of these cards. It will give them a QR code that will link them directly to the assignments I want. Also gives them a username and a password. So this is a really good way you cut it out, you can laminate it, leave it in their desk, use those QR codes with their Chromebook, you're all set. You've got everything you need right with that. Now once again, like I was saying, I only have one student, you would have 25 of those. All right, so I'm all set and I have my students added. Then what you need to do is make an assignment. So right down here on the same navigation bar where it says assignments, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And today, I'm going to make, let's say, a math assignment. So right now, I don't have any assignments scheduled. I'm going to go to the middle where it says Create Assignment. And I'm going to title it. By default, it's always just the date. So if you don't title it, you'll at least know when it was made. But I'm going to call this Math. Actually, I'm just going to call it Geometry. Go down to the Skills, hit the plus button all of the common core for fourth grade come up and then I can scroll down to where we find the geometry standards fluently multiply Ooh, keep going keep going there we go we were studying triangles and sides I'm gonna do those three standards now you can add anything else you want in all of the common core standards are listed here but I'm just going to add just those three click done it shows my standards that I chose listed right here, and I could add more And if I change my mind. If I go down, this gives me a teacher preview account so I can see what it looks like, so I'm also going to send it there. But right now, it's sent to no one. 
So you have to select which students you're sending these standards to. So I'm going to click students, and I'm going to send it to all of mine. So if I click that top box, all of them will get selected. Same thing with you. If you have 25 of these and maybe you don't want test student to do it, you can turn that, that student off. But since I only have one, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit confirm. It'll list all your students right here. Um, how are the questions going? I would always leave this on random just because then they're not sitting by each other and making, you know, mistakes, quote mistakes, looking at each other's screens. Number of questions total to complete. So I selected three um, different standards. As you can see here, there's 12 questions per standard. Now maybe I only want five questions on identifying triangles. So I could lower this to make it seven, sorry, five. Now it's 15 altogether. And then I've got five for this one, five for that one. So it just gives me a total of how many questions total um, that I'm gonna do. Scheduling, I'm gonna start it right now or you can schedule it, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna have my kiddos take a 15 question assignment and I'm gonna hit create. So it's made my assignment. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And then here is the tile for that assignment. So if I click on it, it will give me information about how that is going. So here's my preview account and here's my one student. What I like though is it shows, you know, it's all color coded but it shows how many questions they've done on angles, how many questions they have correct on each one of those standards that I did and their progress. You'll know when they're done. So my test student, if I hit preview, I'll get more information on. It's kind of like a report and I can generate reports on all of this too. So it's not just looking at it online. You can also get reports on their progress. So those are assigned, ready to go. I hit the reports button. There's not going to be anything to see yet because, well, I haven't taken anything. So they even have, you know, you can see right here, in progress, in progress. Here's my preview account. You're going to see the same type of information. Haven't done anything yet. But if I go back to, oops, went too far. Back to assignments, and I click on that. What I do like is when I hover over these standards, it shows me kind of a sample question of what they look like. So you kind of know what you're in for here. So I'm gonna go back to class, I'm gonna go back to classroom up here. And once everything's ready and it's already active you're all set for your kiddos to join. And all they have to do is go to that login that you printed. So I can click it again if I forgot. And download it. And then all your kiddos have to do is go to this link and sign in. So test 69, food 69. So I'm gonna go to play dot bottlelearning.com and it was so I'm going to go ahead and hit login so here's what your students will be greeted with I'm at school I'm going to choose math, and here's all the rewards I can earn, so I'm going to skip that for right now because your kids will figure all that out, trust me. So the most important things are over here is the assignments, and see this little one badge? That means there's an assignment ready to go. So if I click that assignment, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. 15 questions long. I go over to Start Learning Adventure. I click it. 
There's only one ready to go, and I start the game. 